Hello guys, let's check out render prop react design pattern. So here I have two divs on hover of each div. You can see the X and Y position is being rendered altogether. So let's check out how it's been done using render prop. So I have a mouse tracker. Okay. So within the mouse tracker, I'm passing a render function. Okay. Which returns a div with X and Y position being rendered. So how it takes X and Y parameter being rendered. Okay, let's check out how mouse tracker is been designed. So here within the mouse tracker, I have a use state of position which has X and Y initially zero and handle mouse move. And on mouse move, we are setting the client X and client Y as X and Y, okay, which is being rendered. Okay, I'm passing render as a function. Okay, and within that function, I'm calling it in the method and passing a position altogether. And there is also another way that children calling the children and passing a position to it. So let's check out how that can be done. So here I have another mouse tracker, okay, where children as a function, okay, adding a children as a function and which returns the same thing as printing X and Y. Okay, so here you can see children, I'm calling the children as a function and passing the position altogether, which renders the element here, which also similar. Okay, these are the two different ways of using the react design pattern of render prop okay the if you like the content please like and subscribe